Hello everyone, how are you guys all doing today? My name is Mirko and welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video. As you guys probably know, they've added Nuketown in the new 1.05 update and if you guys haven't played it already, I definitely recommend you guys get on this as soon as possible. I'm absolutely loving playing this map and it's just absolute chaos in a good way. Now I know that a lot of people were worried about the specialists and there being too much going on in a small perimeter, but honestly guys, I think it's quite bad and I do think this map is just as good as the other Nuketown maps that we've had in previous Call of Duties. Now I'd just like to say if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to my channel already be sure you do so down below. This channel all surrounds good vibes, tips videos on Black Ops 4 and also Black Ops 4 discussion videos so if you're not subscribed already be sure you're doing so down below. Now moving on to Nuketown, well, I've been playing it for a few hours now and honestly since I've been using Ruin I think this is probably the most overpowered specialist you could use in Nuketown because at the moment there's quite a few people camping in buildings and in windows and using Ruin's grappling hook just to get across the map so much quicker and also get into them buildings much more effectively without having to climb up the ladders you can get to the enemy spawn so much faster and just pick up loads of kills when you're in the enemy spawn and you get the grappling hook like every minute or so so you can use it so many times in one game honestly think Ruin is the specialist you should be using every game you play on Nuketown. I've been using Ruin every single time, unless someone's picked it before me. And honestly, Ruin is the reason why I'm getting loads of kills in Nuketown, because as soon as I whip that out and I can just go straight into the enemy spawn, as soon as I'm in the enemy spawn, I try to stay alive as much as possible. I like to use a dig zag method, uh, sort of go forward and back in the enemy spawn, try and pick up as many kills as I can until I die, and uh, Ruin has actually helped me do that. So I definitely recommend you guys give Ruin a try. Now I mentioned the dig zag method, this is just a word that I've come up with. It's a way of me describing how I go around being in the enemy spawn, picking up a load of kills and also staying alive. So if you want to see a zigzag method tip on how to do it in Black Ops 4, be sure you leave that down in the comment section and I'll be sure to read them. Now moving on to the guns in Nuketown, I've been using the Sorg and I think this gun is actually quite insane on Nuketown, I'm not going to lie. I've been using that probably around 80% of the games I've been playing. Now I've been using a few assault rifles, other than the Maddox, I think most most of the assault rifles are actually quite weak on Nuketown. Bearing in mind this is Nuketown we're talking about, around 90% of your gunfights are going to be short to mid range anyway, so that's why I've been using the Sorg, and the Sorg up close is an absolute machine. I use grip and quick draw with it at the moment. Now I've been using the Stim Shot when playing in Nuketown, and I think Stim Shot is a must have when you're playing in Nuketown, especially if you're using an SMG and you're sort of rushing around in the enemy spawn, you want to be using your Stim Shot just so you can regen your health much more quicker, and especially if you've just been in a gunfight with an enemy, you're to be able to regen your health back to 150. So the two things that are crucial that I think you need when playing Newtown is Steam Shot in your creator class and also the Ruin Specialist. You want to be sure to get to Ruin as soon as possible because there are quite a few people are clocking onto the fact that Ruin is so good in Newtown. So you want to be sure as soon as you that load up menu has started you want to be ready to press on Ruin as soon as possible. So I'm going to wrap this video up here guys. Be sure you take these two things into Newtown and I can guarantee you guys will be in improving so much more when playing in Nuketown. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Be sure you're subscribing if you haven't already. Turn notifications on so you keep updated with my future Black Ops 4 tips videos, discussion videos, all of that good stuff. Leave a like if you did enjoy this video. It really helps the video out. And I'm going to catch all of you guys out in another Black Ops 4 video. Take care, guys.